welcome to Cooking with the Kellys. I'm Ryan Kelly, this is my wife Lindsay Kelly. And we're gonna show you how to cook a Thanksgiving dinner in a motorhome. Pumpkin pie. On this episode of Cooking with the Kellys, we're gonna be making that traditional Thanksgiving meal. We will have that savory turkey breast, homemade mashed potatoes, a nice side salad, and some warm dinner rolls. We're making this dinner to show you how easy it is to make a full-blown Thanksgiving dinner in an RV with RV amenities. This particular coach that we're gonna be cooking in today is a 2015 Integra Anthem that just recently came in on trade. It has all the amenities that you're gonna find in a newer kitchen in a motorhome like the convection microwave oven. These are great for saving on space. You have a true induction stove, which it allows a really nice transfer of heat and is easy to clean up. You also have a double stainless steel sink and a dishwasher underneath to make clean up a breeze. So first we will be making the turkey breast. This is important because it's gonna take the longest and cooking in a small kitchen is about being efficient and strategic. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start preheating the convection oven to 350. So this oven is very similar to what you have at home. You press bake, set it, we wanna set this to 350, and then press start. And it'll start preheating just like your oven. We're gonna have Ryan chop some herbs for the turkey breast. I'm going to place some olive oil on top. I'm gonna rub it in. I'm gonna wash my hands really quick. It's important to wash your hands after touching raw meat, especially poultry. I'm gonna sprinkle some salt and pepper on it. And then we're gonna flip the turkey over, kind of get some of that olive oil on it again. Do some more salt and pepper. And sprinkle some rosemary on top. And remember, everything is better with butter. Put it at the bottom of the pan. There we go. We're gonna add a few of these. The amount of time and the temperature that you're going to set it at is going to vary based on the size of the turkey, your elevation, and how powerful your microwave is. Now that we got the turkey prepared, let's pop it in the oven. With these convection microwave ovens, you're going to have a rack that comes with it and just put it on the top of that rack. We're going to set our timer for 30 to 40 minutes, depends on the size of the breast, how long it will take. My family likes to cook mashed potatoes with the skin on. So what you do is just cut it up into fours, cut it into half, and then half again. While Ryan's cutting, we're gonna start boiling some water. So I'm gonna heat, fill the pan, put it over halfway with hot water, some salt. Salt helps the water boil fast. And the pots we have today are magma that you can buy at the beaver store. And one thing that really helps with this specific pan is it doesn't scratch up the glass as others might do. So we're going to turn our stove on, turn it on high heat. We're going to, once the water starts boiling, we're going to add the potatoes and they'll cook until they are tender in the middle. How are you doing, my love? Doing good. Ever since Lindsay and I started dating, we have loved cooking dinners together. But it started off, Lindsay actually caught taught me how to use a knife because I didn't know I was using it improperly. Well, let me show you what Lindsay taught me about how to properly use a knife. When you grab the knife, you want to grab it, pinch it almost between these two fingers like this. That gives you all the control. The top and press down. You don't try to start in the middle and do the chopping technique like I used to do. Really, Lindsay's the mastermind in the kitchen. My job is just to cut the food and to eat it. My sous chef. Now that the water's to a boil, we're gonna put the potatoes in. Now that we have the turkey in the oven, potatoes boiling, we're gonna stir on our side salad. I'm just gonna flip over the cutting board so we have a nice clean surface. First thing we wanna do is always rinse our lettuce. Try to get some of that dirt that's been in there. Get it out. A 
little trick I like to use is to cut it down the sides. You're cutting it into thirds. And then you already have bite size pieces. When cutting, it's really important to have some safety in mind. We never want to cut like this because we get the cut to the tip of our fingers. We kind of want to use a bare claw. And so that way, if the blade ever comes down close to my hands, it just grazes my knuckles and doesn't cut my fingertips. And to avoid cutting your fingers all together, you can just add a bag of salad. Now we're gonna be cutting the cucumber, dressing the salad. Ryan's putting on some dried cranberries. Yeah. Cranberries add a ton of flavor to the salad. It kind of gives it a little bit different texture too. And I love putting tomatoes on my salad. Go ahead, put some cucumber on there. We got some feta here. This one has some nice Mediterranean spices added to it. And we have a nice pair of vinaigrette to go with it. Next, we're gonna candy some pecans to go on top of the salad, giving it a nice crunch. So we're gonna turn our stove on to medium high heat. And then we're add about two tablespoons butter. I like adding candy pecans to our salad because it's super easy, adds a nice sweetness and a nice crunch to it that you don't get from any other component. So we have our melted butter and we're going to add 1 fourth cup granulated sugar. We're now spreading it out so they can dry and cool to kind of get that um, sugar to harden on them. What do you think, Lens? We really need a meat thermometer, but we're going to give this a nice little cut, see what the insides look like. I think it looks good. And what's great about a convection microwave oven is it moves the air all the way through for nice even, even cooking. So I think it needs a couple more minutes. We're going to put it in for another five minutes and check it. Sounds good. Now we're going to check out our potatoes. Give it a nice little poke that went all the way through. They're going to cook until they are soft and tender in the middle, about 10-15 minutes depending on the potato and how big they were cut. We're going to put in exactly three tablespoons of butter, which is right about... <laughs> and we are going to put in one cup of... what kind of milk is this? Cream. Cream. It up. Oh, doing great there. Highest on the prize. Okay. Can I add some salt and pepper? Okay. Salt and pepper. Is there a particular order you prefer? That's a great idea. Mm -hmm. Now, we'll give it a taste. Out of the oven. Look at that. Yum. Oh, perfect. Well, my parents are here. Come on in. Hey. Hey, look at we guys. found some matching chairs. BYOC. <laughs> right outside. Great. You guys hungry? Starving. Starving. Let's eat. Pop the rolls in real quick. Those. Two hundred. Okay. There you go. Happy Thanksgiving. Thanks.
Thank you for um, just all the things we have to be thankful for, especially the family around this table. And this has been Cooking with the Kellys. See you next time. Bye-bye. All the Kellys. <laughs> <laughs> this is eating with the Kellys. <laughs> um, where's the pie? <laughs> oh, the pie! Here. What I like to do, and probably my favorite part about the convection microwave, is if you take a pumpkin, you just put it in here, and press pie, wait for just a second, and there you have it. Ooh! Pumpkin pie. <laughs>